Hello my yarn friends. Welcome to a very overdue uh, store update for Yarn Over Fiber and Crafting Co. I want to start off by thanking the community and everyone for all your kind words and support and patience while myself and my family uh, recovered from whatever cold or flu illness that has been sweeping the city. Uh, I want to thank you all so so much. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little tour of the store. Some things got moved around once again, uh, but things are all settling now into their permanent homes. And I wanted to go over some of the new items that we have in stock uh, for the Christmas season. So we're going to start off with uh, my mom came up and helped me Christmas fire the store. Uh, so we now have this gorgeous wreath. Scrappy has his little hat. We have a beautiful Christmas tree uh, and we have a little Santa here and he's got his sack full of yarn because what yarn artist wouldn't like that from Santa? Uh, our seating area got a little bit more christmas -fied. Uh This sign is 100% accurate for this morning. It is frigid out there. Uh, but to give you sort of a new little stock or a little store update, so we are now organizing more by weight. So this is our sock fingering section. So of course we still have uh, our sock drawer, um, but now we have all of our fingering weights together. We have our little sock accessories. Uh, we do have the acrylic sock yarn and that's just because I wanted the socks to all be together. Uh, we do now have Ariel which is a mohair silk blend. We'll go over that a little bit more. We have our section from the Fiber Co. Uh, we do have another line that will be going there as well. And this is our DK section. So for all of you that got used to the cotton being in the drawers, it is now DK Merino in there. But I would like to introduce you to Cotton Corner. So this is where all of our cotton yarn is now. And our blends now go DK, Worsted, Chunky. So those are all together. And then we have all of our worsted weight acrylics together. We have more coming in. And then we have our chunky and super bulky acrylic yarns. And swinging by over to the other side here. And then this will be where our worsted and chunky weight natural fibers are. Uh, Briggs and Little should be arriving this week. And then we do have uh, some chunky merinos, some mini merinos coming in. Uh, but yeah, let's kind of go over some new items for the Christmas season. Okay, let's get into our brand new products. So I wanted to start off with introducing you to the Fiber Co. So they're a company that started off in the US and they are now based out of the UK. Their philosophy is to have sustainable natural fibers and they're inspired by the different landscapes that they encounter. Uh, this is certainly a little bit higher end product, uh, but it feels amazing and it is just, I'm so excited to work with it. Uh, so to get us started, we do have the Aaron Moore Light. Uh, so this one comes in a 100 gram skein. Uh, this one, the Scenery of Ireland Northern Headlands is uh, where they got their inspiration um, in, a, in a mill that traces its roots to the homespun tweed industry of the 19th century. Uh, so this one comes in a few different colors. Uh, this one is $29 um, for a hank, and it is 80% wool, 10% silk, and 10% cashmere. And this one's made in Ireland. Next up, we have the Acadia. Uh, this one feels just absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is one of their DK weights. And it is a 60% wool, 20% alpaca, and 20% silk. Uh, these are 50 gram skeins and they are uh, 1980 each and they come in a variety of colors. I do like the gray that it has a little bit of tweed to it. And then we have the 
Luma. And this is their 50% wool, 25% cotton, 15% linen, and 10% silk. Uh, this one also has just a wonderful feel to it. Uh, certainly the Acadia has a little bit softer plush feel to it. Um, the, these ones are also 50 gram skeins and are a DK weight, and these are $15 um, each. And then the one I've been most excited for, this is Tundra. So this is their bulky weight yarn. Uh, and this is a 60% alpaca, 30% wool, 10% silk. This feels absolutely amazing. If you come into the store, you need to give this a squish. Um, I've been most excited for, for this one. Uh, this one did unfortunately have quite a few colors that were on back order. So we have a few colors now but there are more colors on their way. And these are 100 gram skeins and uh, these are $33. There is another line from the Fiber Co that will be coming called Ann Make. That is their beginner friendly yarn that is coming in uh, that will be shipping in with the back orders that are, are coming from them. Our next little more Christmassy gift are we have little ornament packs. So they come in these like little book boxes. And so there is a crocheted mitten, or sorry, a crocheted sock, a knit mitten, and a knit sock. And on the inside, it comes with everything you need. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you do get a little how-to booklet, uh, but it comes with this tiny little ball of yarn, uh, it comes with your knitting needles. It even comes with a mitten and a sock blocker. Uh, and then there are two little uh, shortened knitting needles in there um, that they show you how to make a little charm. So you get to make a charm and knit yourself up a little tiny Christmas ornament. The The packaging is just, it's too cute. I, I got sold just on the packaging alone. Uh, but these make wonderful little gift ideas. Uh, these ones are $35.99 each, um, and we do have a couple of each style as well. Something I've also been hearing people requesting kind of bit uh, is mohair. So <laughs> we now have the Brocco Ariel. Uh, it is a 60% mohair, 35% silk. Uh, so we do have it in... Uh, quite a few solid colors. We do have more solid colors coming later this week. Uh, the solid colors are 1950 uh, for a ball. And then we do have two of our uh, aerial colors. So these ones are a little bit more of a variegated look. Um, and these ones are 21. Another request, sock rulers. <laughs> so we have the original sock ruler. So we have them in your standard adult size. We have it in the kids toddler size or their sock ruler junior. And then I do still have a combo pack left. So it has all three of them in there for you. Uh, another great idea for your for your knitting friends. Uh, from Susie, we have the Christmas bag. So it has these adorable little Christmas sheep on them. And it has some snowflakes on the bottom. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see on camera. Oh, yes. She did some uh, Christmas thread. So it has a nice little variegated look to it. And also a little jingle bell. So you know where you're... So as you're walking, you'll know where your project is. And then, of course, um, has all the little pockets on the inside. Uh, so we do still have um, one of our little Christmas bags here. And speaking of our homemade or handmade section... We now have uh, this book called Auntie Jane Knits Up a Storm. Uh, so this is from an author right here in Regina. They are having a book release on December 3rd from two to five at the Penny University bookstore. Um, these little pamphlets are here in the store if you want to grab one, um, but it was written here in Regina. It is actually a very lovely story about um, Auntie Jane uh, loses her husband and how the community and knitting kind of helped bring those bright colors back to her life because she literally knits up a storm. So it, it is a wonderful little book. 
And the last thing I wanted to introduce to you guys today, uh, I did have some people uh, kind of giggle about it, that they wish they had a wish list here at the store so that if their husband or friend or family member came in, that they could go, here's so-and-so's wish list and get those specific items that they want for Christmas. Well, you guys asked, and so you shall receive. So we now have these Christmas wish list forms. Um, so it says, Dear Santa, my name is blank. What I really want for Christmas, and you write down what your wish list is. And then, of course, if you have any questions about my request, you can reach me at a name or a phone number or email just in case if there's uh, something that isn't quite clear that maybe Santa wants to confirm on color or style. Uh, so those are also here at the store. So certainly, if you would, if you have a Christmas Christmas wish list, feel free to pop in the store. We'll get one of those filled out. Or even if you want to just send me an email to yarnovercanada at gmail.com, I can certainly get one filled out for you. But thank you all for joining me today. Uh, we will have another big stock update uh, either later this week or early next week. Uh, we have a couple big orders coming in to fill in our gaps. Uh, but once again, thank you, Yarn Friends, so much for joining me. Take care. Bye.